Welcome. In this video, we will answer some of the common questions about T2 AFR and mention how to acquire access to your client's data using the AFR function in the T2 module. So let's answer the first question to the T2 AFR frequently asked questions. What is T2 AFR? It is called the Autofill My Return, and it's a secure CRA service. It allows the authorized representative to electronically request and receive certain client tax information from CRA. So next question in the T2 AFR frequently asked question is, what does T2 AFR do? Well, profile customers can review downloaded CRA client data for accuracy and completeness, and then import that selected data into the T2 return. This helps verify the client's data against CRA records. Next set of questions for the T2 AFR frequently asked questions is, what module is T2 AFR available for? The T2 AFR is only available for the current module, which is a 2016 to 2018 T2 module. And how many previous years is T2 AFR available for? Well, the T2 AFR is available for up to four previously filed years. Now, this is important when you want to acquire access to your client's data for T2 AFR. The preparer must file the form RC59 and obtain online access for the client's business number. And just to let you know that within profile, when you are working on a T2 and you want to be able to file this RC59, you can do it through the software electronically. When you're acquiring access to your client's data for T2 AFR and you want to do it via the CRA website, uh, for business clients, representatives are now able to send business authorization requests electronically at their convenience. This is what I mentioned earlier uh, through our software that you can now request it electronically through profile. And to continue from that, acquiring the access to client data for T2 AFR via the CRA website. With an active rep ID, a representative can log in to represent a client to send an electronic authorization request. For a request to be completed, representatives must provide all required information during the electronic authorization process, as well as scan and send a signed and dated certification page from their client. Just know that the information that is sent is reviewed, it's validated, and processed within five business days after CRA receives the electronic authorization request and certification page. As business owners, they can go to my business account and enter a rep ID to authorize themselves as individuals. Or they can use that group ID to authorize a group of their representatives. They can even use a business number of the business to authorize all its employees. They can also authorize you as a representative by completing that form RC59, which is the business consent for access either by telephone and mail and sending that to the tax center. This is important to prevent delays in processing. The business name you register with the representative client service must match the business name on that RC59 form. 
and another option for gaining authorization for your client's data for T2 AFR is what we've been talking about earlier. Preparers can also e-file the RC59 form for authorization and you can e-file that through our software profile. You can now get authorized representatives to electronically request and receive certain client tax information from CRA using the Autofill My Return or AFR. Now this is only available for our 2016 to 2018 T2 module for up to the four previously filed years. Note the preparer must file the form RC59 and obtain online access for the client's business number. Acquiring client's data can be done via represent a client or my business account and preparers now can e-file the RC59 